Hi, this is an installation video for the Atmox 225 CFM multi-mount fan with the louver attached. This video is for crawl space applications. Tools and supplies. The tools that you will need for this quick installation are Tapcon screws, which are screws specifically designed for masonry. The drill bit. And this is the drill bit that actually comes with the Tapcon kit. And you can get your Tapcon kit at your local hardware store. You also need the appropriate drill bit to screw in these Tapcon screws. In particular today I am using a Phillips head and this is going to be used with the second drill. Now we use two drills so that we can avoid switching up during the process of mounting your fans. Let's start with the intake fan with the louver attached. Now I want you to keep in mind I am inside of a crawl space. The directional airflow is actually going to open up these louvers. So this is why your louver will be pointing inside the crawl space. Now you want to mount your plate on the wall evenly on all four sides. Now let's talk about the exhaust fan with the louver attached. When this louver is attached, you will notice it has to be on the outside of the exhaust fan. This is because the airflow is actually being exhausted out and pushing the louvers open. Now, for your louvers to be opened, you need at least 8 inches of height clearance when you recess it into its plate opening. Now, we're going to mount this to the wall, and you will notice that I'm even on all four sides, and I have given enough clearance to my louver for it to open. Step two is to mount the fan or plate to the wall from inside of the crawl space. All of the Atmox internal mounted fans and plates are installed in the same way. I am going to use a solid plate to show you the next steps for this installation. Now that we have our plate aligned to the wall, we want to make sure that we have it permanently secured to the wall. There are two methods to doing this. You can do the two screw method and you can do the four screw method. Right now I will be using the four screws and we're going to start by drilling in to the top corner now that we have a hole drilled we want to make sure that we insert our Tapcon screw into its correct location. Now that I've done my first screw, I'm moving diagonally to the bottom left corner. Again, we will insert our Tapcon screw. Now that you have your fans mounted, it's time to power your fans. 